Hey guys, it's Dave. Welcome back to the channel and a big thank you to my newest channel member, Michael McRory. Thanks for joining. Very much appreciate the support and thank you to all the channel members who continue to support what I do here. Okay, so today I want to talk to you a little bit about electron reuse and just kind of the confusion I think a lot of us who follow the company have had around this topic. I like to think that even though I admit I am very biased when it comes to Rocket Lab and I am an investor in the company, that I can try to present a little bit, at least sometimes, of a balanced view and I'm not afraid of calling out things that I don't understand, don't agree with, or just find confusing. So one thing I want to talk about today that I haven't really been loving is the communication around electron reuse, uh, what the plan is with that, how it's been changing, and, and kind of just why it's so vague. I really haven't been loving that lately. Not to say I'm hating on the stock or anything, it's performing quite well. Some of us on the Twitter and the Discord have been going through a exercise of kind of adding up how many shares we have just to see like as a group, as a retail investor group, you know, how much sway do we really hold? And I guess just seeing those numbers and some other people's numbers uh, makes me want to add more shares. I know I really shouldn't get into a position measure measuring contest, but uh, yeah, there it is. So if we have a pullback, I would definitely be open to adding more. But uh, anyway, today, we're talking about electron reuse. If you haven't subscribed already, please do consider doing that. Every new subscriber helps out so much, as well as all those likes, comments, and all the rest. Okay, let's dive in to electron recovery. So, a little while back in February of 2024, I kind of thought everything was chugging along pretty well when it came to electron reuse. We were hearing that they had gotten boosters back from the ocean in surprisingly good condition. They had reflown a single Rutherford engine successfully. Everything was looking good, right? Uh, Adam Spice, the CFO of the company, went on a TD Cowan aerospace and defense conference to talk about Rocket Lab, and he made some comments about electron reuse and recovery that kind of caught me off guard. So some quotes he said was that the latest electron booster that was just flown was really important because it was, quote, the last block upgraded needed for recovery. So if you remember, they were making some iterative changes to electron to allow recovery, as well as some changes to fix that anomaly, etc., and just some general upgrades. And this was kind of considered the final version of electron, if you will. Um, he said the booster looked really, really, really good. And the plan was to do at least one more recovery mission this year and then it's all about reflying the entire power pack meaning nine engines the engines they've been recovering have all been amazing and they just needed to make sure the rest of the rocket was holding up now uh he said the fully reflown booster probably wouldn't end up happening in 2024 because they were focusing on increased electron cadence. So this caught a lot of people off guard because before this, we were all pretty much assuming that electron reuse was right around the corner and it would for sure happen in 2024. So that was a little bit of a downer, not gonna lie. We've all heard that recovery and reuse will improve electrons margin substantially. Me and Scott O did a little bit of an exercise going through the math on that. I'll try to link that video if you're interested in checking it out. But I think we both agree that it's definitely worth doing and will improve electrons margins, although electrons still can be quite a profitable business line without reuse. Um, so yeah, this caught me a, a little off guard, was a little uh, disappointed about that, but was thinking, okay, well, at least we're looking forward to nine reflown engines coming up. A uh, little bit of a shame that they're only recovering one more booster when I thought they'd be recovering, you know, like half the boosters. And we've seen them since that point expend a booster that was a recoverable booster, something that I expect to continue now this year. Now let's jump forward a little bit to the Q4 2023 earnings call. This is February 27th, so just a couple weeks after that conference when Adam was speaking. We got this quote from Peter Beck saying, the next milestone for the recovery program is to fly a mission with nine pre flown Rutherford engines. You remember that we successfully relaunched a single Rutherford engine late last year. Now we're going to put all nine of them through their paces, so keep an eye out for that milestone coming. So I read this a couple weeks after Adam's comment, and then I was thinking, 
Hmm, okay, he's not really talking about reprioritizing recovery. You know, maybe this is still on the table. Maybe we will still see electron boosters reflown fairly soon at least. Um, and maybe we'll see more than just one more recovered booster this year. But, you know, things are still looking a little vague. Jump forward again. Q1 2024 earnings call. So now we're all the way in May 6th of 2024. By the way, this website I'm using is called Main Street Data. I do have a referral link if you're interested in signing up. I'll try to put that in the description below as well. It's a pretty good site for looking at some pretty cool charts around your favorite stocks. And I do love the feature that they have transcripts of all the earnings calls posted so you can go and look up what was said without having to try and re-watch all the earnings call you can just do a quick control f to find what you're looking for so again talking about electron recovery and reuse in this most recent earnings call back in may uh we he said we've got an exciting post quarter update on our recovery program. For the first time, we have returned an electron stage back to the production line in preparation for reflying. The tank is the one that came back to Earth during the recovery mission we launched in January, and it came back in such good condition that we're bringing it back into the production fold. Already, it's passed a barrage of qualification tests, but having gone through those additional checks, it's now undergoing its final fit-out and another round of the same acceptance testing that would take any brand new tank through that runs off the production line. As a result of that campaign, will determine its suitability for reflight. All, if all looks good, we could be looking to refly later in the year. So when I read this, I'm now like maximum confused, if that even is a term. Uh, I'm like, what the heck is going on? We just heard that they were kind of putting a, a slowdown on recovery and reuse. Next milestone would be nine reflown Rutherford engines, which we hadn't seen. And we weren't looking to refly a booster until next year. Then the next earnings call comes around. We still haven't had the nine reflown engines. He's talking about putting this rocket booster through all the testing and checks that any new booster off the line would get put through. And we could be looking at a reflown entire booster. So I'm like, what the heck is going on? I guess recovery and reuse is back on the table for Electron. So I felt this was pretty good. I mean, obviously, as I said previously, reuse and recovery does improve margins. Uh, all, you know, a good update, I guess. But I was starting to get a little uneasy about the back and forth, the confusing messaging. When is the first recovered vehicle going to be? Is it a priority? Is it not a priority? Uh, just a lot of back and forth and kind of different comments from Adam and Peter and the story changing. Now, I fully understand a company you know, has the right and indeed should make changes as new information comes to light, as the market conditions change, as, you know, priorities shift. And I do understand that Neutron should and is the higher priority item because, you know, each launch is 50 million versus 7 million for Electron. Neutron will really move the needle a lot more than Electron Recovery. But I kind of thought they could do both, right? Why not hire people to work on both? People do stuff like this all the time, and make both fronts could make good progress. Uh, just the other day now, we had a interview with Peter Beck for Electron's 50th launch, which was amazing and a very exciting event. I encourage you to check out some of the pictures on Twitter if you haven't re already. They're pretty cool. Payload, a great publication. Uh, I do recommend subscribing, checking out their podcast and all the rest. But what caught my attention and a lot of people's attention on Twitter here is this highlighted portion down below with Peter Beck being asked about reuse. He said, Candidly, the most important thing is not to interrupt the production team with new things and just keep the production rate of Electron where it needs to be to support the manifest best this year. Electron reuse is not that important to the business on a margin standpoint, or even at this point, even from a technology standpoint. The reusability team and recovery team are 100% dedicated and focused on other things, mainly Neutron, of course. So 
Back in May, we're hearing about a potential booster reuse fairly soon. It's going through all the checks. Everything's looking very good. And now we hear that the team is 100% once again focused on other things, mainly Neutron. And kind of getting a little annoying here. Um, you know, as I said, it's fine for them to reprioritize, but just the back and forth and the vague... Uh, communications on this issue starting to get annoying i'd like to have like a firm statement on what is going on are we still working on recovery are we not some people even read this to mean when he says that electron reuse is not that important maybe they're going to phase it out completely and never do it i was reading it as okay this is probably a delay once they get neutron running they'll go back to get electron reused and yes they did learn a lot of important lessons from the recovery of electron that they're putting towards Neutron. So even if it didn't get reused ever, it would still not be in vain because they would have a lot more trouble recovering Neutron if they hadn't gone through this exercise with Electron. But yeah, it's just been a little annoying and frustrating and inconsistent. So that's where we are today. Looks like Electron's recovery and reuse team is 100% retasked to other things. Neutron is the priority, which I fully understand, but I thought maybe they could just hire more people and do both things. I suppose there could be a bottleneck in hiring good people, and they just don't have enough of those to go around to work on both projects, um, which is fine. And I understand companies needing to reprioritize, and this probably does make the most sense financially. Neutron will move the needle way more on the stock and on the revenue line of the company than getting Electron's recovery going. But both in the long run are, you know, good and probably worth doing. So more than uh, being frustrated by the decision, I'm just kind of frustrated by the back and forth and the lack of clear communication. So this is me, I guess, still loving the company, but, you know, calling out things that I don't like and seem inconsistent and confusing, trying to maintain a level thought process on the stock and not descending into complete fanboy status where just I cheer whatever they do and say. Let me know how you guys feel about this latest development on electron recovery and reuse use. Do you think they're going to end up canceling it completely and just decide it's not worth doing? Will they circle back around to it once Neutron is launching? Are they going to change their mind again in two weeks and get going on recovery and we'll see a reused booster suddenly launch out of the blue? Uh, curious to hear your thoughts on the entire program and I'll check it out down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing that down below. It's very helpful for the channel growth, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.